Hello out to everybody. This is Andre the Game I Dig Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear. Listening to another gig vlog. So, I've been debating the title of this one. <laughs> but I think I'm going to call this Miracle 2 or Miracle Part 2, whichever one. Because when I recorded the first video, I had already had an image in my mind what the miracle that I wanted was and I'm looking back at that and I realized that that's kind of unwise I shouldn't have been looking for what I wanted it to be but rather what was in front of me and what was available to me and there are things there are opportunities I'm working on things that I'm creating for said miracle to happen. And I, I know my channel's been rather quiet. I mean, you guys got like the the poetry recital video of the poem I wrote for my daughter, which her birthday fell on Father's Day this year. So, I've been really just coming up with ideas and concepts for different things that I plan to put into action. Things I plan to work on. And it, it's not exactly the easiest thing because I, uh, I don't really have the time that I, I want to do it currently. But at the same time, if I don't start doing anything and I don't start putting in the effort towards anything, I'm never going to accomplish anything. And that's not something I want to leave back to my kids. So... I need to start getting things done and I've completed one of my projects or at least the main piece of one of my projects and that's for my poetry book that I was working on I'm done all of the poems I have no other poems to write for this book and I'm actually moving on to work on on the second poetry book that I'm going to be putting out and writing the poems for that um, the concept for that is going to be gaming. This first one, it was more personalized. And it had to be personalized because there was a lot that I needed to put into it. Um, so, I've already decided on the name. Um, I've already decided how the layout is going to look. The only thing I really need now is an artist. Because that there's a specific thing I want to do with each of the poems. And I need an artist for it. And I also need someone that can do cover art. So, um, that's something I'm working on. Um, I mean, I gotta do, there's, there's a bunch of other stuff I gotta do. Like, the book is likely gonna be somewhere between 50 and 60 pages. It's not gonna be extremely big. Um, but, you guys get the point. I'm just, to the point now that I want to take the opportunities that are in front of me and again the ones that I'm able to create and actually make something out of them. So that's what my plan is. And I know that there are people that have helped me and again thank you guys I appreciate that. And trust me I want to get everyone squared away. It's just going to take me a little bit longer than I originally thought. Because there are things that I have to get done. And hopefully the things I get done will allow me to get things squared away in a much more efficient manner. Um, but I'm working two jobs, so I'm, yeah, I'm constantly, almost constantly working. So it, it's just how it is. I'm working or asleep for the most part. And... And time I have with my kids, I try to spend that with my kids. So, that's just how my life is working right now. But there are things that I plan to, to, to roll out as time moves forward. And I've already got the basis for many of these things already prepped and started. Or at least the concepts are already in place. 
So yeah, my miracle this year may be much different than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. But sometimes I just realize you have to lose in order to find your way to win. So, I had to take the loss. I'm a stubborn person, didn't want to take the loss, but I had to. It's just how things worked out. So from there, I gotta start building. Start moving things, making things happen. Causing something to something good to come about. And that's my plan. That's my whole goal. And I said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm going to make myself the example that I want people to be able to follow. And that ne that doesn't necessarily mean follow the things I'm doing, but follow the attitude, follow the mindset, follow the thought process. Put into yourself what you need to achieve your goals. And cut out the things that inhibit that. let go of the things that you have to let go of it's just how shit works and it's not exactly just easy to let go of everything especially when it's something that you've built up for a long time or something that's been there for a long time so But again, that's life. You just got to move forward, move on, do what you can. So you're like you never know what's going to happen. You don't know what changes are going to come about to you. And you just have to make use of what you have in front of you. You have to make do with what you have. You have to find a way to make yourself happy person you can't derive it from other people other people should enhance it but they should never be the source of your happiness you have to find that within yourself and the only way you can do that is to fulfill fulfill yourself by doing things that you actually want to do to accomplish goals that you actually want to accomplish to achieve something And that's what I want to leave for anyone, like anyone, Blake, but especially for my kids. I want them to understand that. I want them to get to see that. So, I've got to be that example. Though there are times where, yeah, like, depression and anxiety will kick in and... I will shut down or stonewall people. It's not an intentional thing. It's something I'm still working through. It's something I'm still trying to get through myself. But I've been doing what I can to find the energy in myself to complete things that I set forth to do. Now this poetry book, I started this sometime last year. I think it was like back in maybe May of last year I started working on it and it was just that I didn't want to put together poems that didn't come directly from the heart and didn't have some sort of inspiration from it. Like it, it, was, it had to be something I was inspired by to cause it. Whether that was a positive or a negative influence, it had to be something I was inspired by. And for the last few weeks, I a lot of inspiration. So, I kind of just wrapped, it, <laughs> wrapped up the book pretty quickly. I mean, at least the poetry aspect of it. There are still some other things that I want to put together for it, but that's stuff that I don't need inspiration for. I just have to write it out. And that's fine. I can do that. It won't, won't take me long to get that type of stuff done. Um, 
honestly. I want people to be able to look to me and see that, yeah, hey, he put forth the effort. 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 Yeah, effort. He put his mind to the task. He did what he said he was going to do. He set himself for it. Did it. He accomplished it. Whatever his personal struggles were, he got through that and he accomplished his goals. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I want to be. That's what I want us to see. The best way to have people actually see who you are, you have to be who you are. Not be afraid to be that person anymore. So, instead of cutting myself off or cutting myself back, I've just gone in the other direction. Won't be me. I don't have too many more whimsical or wise things to say. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. There's, there's other stuff that I have to take care of. And there's some other important things that I have to do. But I wanted to give you guys an update. So, that said, thank everybody for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your life. Peace out.